Okay, so here we are with Luisito Orbegoso and my son Miguel at Canterbury Recording Studio. We just finished up a tune called Sin Vergüenza. What happened was at this point, I guess I'm almost 25 years into my flamenco life, and I felt like it was sort of time to tell my story as a Spanish Canadian that grew up in Toronto. So the lyrics are really about myself and my relationship with flamenco as well as my parents' heritage. And if you speak Spanish, it'll be pretty easy to uh, sort of decipher my story. because it just has so many layers and so many elements. So I hope it keeps me amused and those that are listening. Es que no tengo una manera Es que no tengo una manera Gitanita de mi alma Para enseñarte cuanto te quiero Es que no tengo palabra Para decirte mucho que te quiero what you get on the records, what you're going to get live. You know, maybe more because there's always room for evolution and the tune will grow more, but it's a great starting point. It's a, it's a good thing to be, to have laid out and just, it, it's going to stay there forever, so. so. And truly the relationship is that I love flamenco and I love the cante and I love the guitar and I love the uh, baile, the dance. I love it all. And especially I love Lucho's Palmas and Percussion. The, the, the guy that I was looking for has been sitting beside me for 15 years, you know, <laughs> on, my, on my left. Mis padres vinieron de Sevilla. Mi madre nació en Cádiz. Mi padre es un polaco que después de la guerra se fue a vivir a Madrid. Well, I know he loves it, and I know that um, he used to do different genres of music, but then he really found out what he loved. And he moved to Spain and he studied flamenco for a really long time. And I brought up, I was brought up listening to flamenco every day. When I show it to like people my age, they don't really know what they're listening to. But with me, it kind of feels like being home in a way. El baile me lleva, el toque me mueve, el cante me hace llorar. Si el cante me hace llorar. heard so much of everything that I need for, for, for me to be excited I need things to be a little beyond the norm a little more extreme so we were looking for that in the mix as well which is like let's just push things a little bit let's push the dynamic the quieter parts quieter the louder parts louder the shots more aggressive just to keep things spicy you know instead I don't want to play it safe anymore I've been doing this for a long time I want to go further I want to push the envelope and I want to laugh I had Lucho laughing his head off that makes me happy a big part of, a f of flamenco is the apprenticeship. So I sat beside a few guitars for, for many, many years. So this idea of uh, intergenerational, what you have here is normal in flamenco. It's, it's, it's normal to see a seven or an eight or a 10 year old that grew up in that lifestyle performing on stage along somebody that's 50 or 60 or 70. We had a fantastic day in the studio today as well as last Wednesday and I could see that he was feeding off of the creativity and the euphoria and the, the great energy in the room. And if he chooses to do this for a living or not, I just wanted to say this is what I do, I love what I do, I chose it, I'm happy. So if you're interested in the music that we have created, my name is Jorge Miguel, this is Luis Orbegoso, my son Miguel. Uh, you can go to JorgeMiguel.com or send me an email at Jorge at JorgeMiguel.com.